Okay, hello everyone, let's get it started. So, um, the Switch Hub does every Friday morning, we offer their GS consultation to the whole campus. So anyone who was concerned about the use of GS tools or regard to their, uh, in their research, how to use their general spectral analysis or something related, so they can make an appointment with me and then discuss. So, so far we'll just leave some um, example here. So, most frankly, definitely, they will ask me which jazz tools should I use if to a specific task. So, but more than that, we also collect several questions. For example, we from the very simple and directly, such as overlapping on topographic base map for category design for a specific project, or what's concerned some such as some um, joining some table and to their spatial geometry, and also more advanced visual analysis such as some some ground patterns nearby various kind of mobile media sites, or how to interpret some database, or do some uh, automatic automatic um, processing for the geospatial data. <coughs> and also, uh, for example, from marine science, we are interested in how to join different um, features and their basic category assigns um, for their research. And also, recently I found the view shade analysis actually very popular in ecology and in marine science and also some work related to the digital element model. And also we do some we also research questions about web mapping and their line information or workflow for disaster mapping. So this is a list of questions, there are still many about this, but the question for us is it worst for us to think about why they ask these questions is ending different between the question they ask it and then the functionality in the computer. So I found a lot of time I need some translation from the user's question to their functional executable tools in ArcGIS or in related GS tools. So I found maybe we need some way to interact between the human speech thinking, the speech question, to link to their computer GS functionality. So one way is to organize such questions into some categorized GS tools. Another way I propose is a semantic framework for the GS user interface. Is there some linkage between the human thinking and also the GS functionality? So this is a very direct framework. So we collect spatial question on the question layer, and then we integrate some spatial concept ontology, for example, from uh, Werner Kuhn's top core concepts, visual information, also some task ontology, and also then we can use some machine learning and their uh, intelligence system to implement and then get the output. So this is a framework we propose, and then the spatial concept will can be accessed to their geospatial.org, which initiated by Don, and their <coughs> that's work. Thank you.